So every year I always do a video review of as seen on TV, as seen on TV products. And this thing has been making the storm in a couple different varieties, but it's all about the same style. Uh, there's one that's big on QVC, and they're selling it for 24 bucks. This one is actually $20 at my local store at Menards. Um, yeah, so 4,000 lumens. Uh, let's see what else is this saying. This is probably okay. Here we go. Right side for me. Four one hundred and forty-four high intensity LED bulbs. I hate when I call it bulbs. It's just a diode. It's not a bulb. So we're gonna see how bad of a hot piece of garbage this could be. Um, I'm expecting some very bad engineering, and so if you're still watching this, what I do, what I like to do is I will tear this thing apart and actually do electronics analysis on it, and I've been an electronics technician for the last 17 years, and I've done a lot of electronic stuff so this is the packaging and a lot of people talk about it coming apart and all this stuff okay so right off the bat there's your LED bulbs what they call it some hot metal for the the lamps made in China 800 milliamps 60 watts I'm gonna see what it actually draws I'm gonna take it apart um, yeah I think this is probably multiple different vendors because you can see how the uh the bell how sticker just kind of just stuck on there but i'll probably put it on in a better location how's that look better than what they had it and i will take and plug it in into my garage because essentially that's where it's gonna go I don't want to get the map readings and stuff like that. I know it's going to be brighter than the fluorescent bulb I have out there. Because it's LED. And I just wanted to see what the, the inside looks like. If it's a complete pile of garbage. Or if it's actually not that bad. I want to see how they're wiring the inside of it up. Because a different variety of this, they were talking about the uh, the lamp socket itself breaking off. And they couldn't take it out and they had to call an electrician and the electrician charged them $200. That's an actual review on QVC. But that's a different brand and it's not this kind but they do have if you just google the reviews there's a lot of people that say that the subscribers well probably is oh boy <laughs> yeah wow all right Trying to get this last screw out so it's not dropped on the floor somewhere so it gets lost. Two very thin. You wish you look at that. See, there's a solder blob sitting right there on top of that. Uh, the plastic housing here is not even aluminum, it's plastic. So if, if, it, if this thing would have gotten cold, which it will get, 
this will probably could potentially have fell inside that. Now this board here is probably something you can buy off of eBay. But let's get, let's get a closer zoom in of that solder bomb. This video is going to be uploading in 4K, so it's going to be in pretty good resolution. I just wanted to show the solder blob so nobody accuses me of, like, I don't know, slander. <laughs> and we're going to go, and we're going to look inside this part here. Um, yeah, I made that loose, didn't I? Which is fine. It's just the iron core of the uh, transformer. It doesn't have to be... Rock solid. Did they glue it? Can't really tell. But you can see all the LED wires are soldered on that one end there. Very tight, 47 microfarad, 400 volt capacitor. You figure they'd have some type of glue that would hold it down, but meh. GKE, it's a brand, I never heard of that. So what this is, it's just a step down power supply. And it's going to step down 120 volts down to whatever this is. But we're going to look and see if we can find this board online. I don't think we might not be able to. I don't see any markings on it yet. V1. Oh yes, there's a, there's a, there's a marking. It's a 50 watt. Okay. You see... <laughs> So which one is it? Is it 50 watts or is it 60 watts? So right now we're already seeing lies in their marketing scam, right? Okay. Glad we're on the same page here. Let's see what the warning says. Does it say, do not place object near the light. Turn power, uh, turn off, turn the power off when the light switch for that to suck. Okay, so the English thing on that translated was completely terrible. Anyway, so soldering job is not too great. There are some places here that are that are in need of resoldering. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take and leave this along as it is. What I'm gonna do is take. And put this in a lamp, turn the lamp on, measure the voltage on the output. And then I'm going to take one of these apart and see what the voltage rating is on it. So, just so we know that there's no tomfoolery around here. And that's what I'm going to show you. I got a lamp. There's the lamp. I got the lamp. Okay. And I'm just going to screw this in. Don't have to wonder lamp is not connected. Um, basically, I'm working on it for other purposes. I may have to take and rotate this, huh? There we go. And as soon as I plug in the lamp, the lights will come on. So I'm going to shoot them outward. I'm going to go up a little bit. And then I'm going to have my voltmeter here. And we can take a measure here and here and see what the output is. Okay. I think you'll be able to see what I'm looking at. Yeah. So the output here and here. So your red and black going to the LEDs. I know this is in the way. But I'm plugging it in in case the kitchen's on fire. Doesn't have video footage. I'm doing so. 
And I have not touched any of the soldering up or anything like that. So, as it is, it's as it's going to be. Straight out of the box. Yeah, that's, that's bright. Oh boy. That's going to be a good light. Now let's see what the, uh, the voltage is. What does that say? 73 volt? Holy smokes. 73 volt DC? Wow. Alright, I guess that's not too terrible. Strange, but... Okay. Well, I'm going to take this here off. It's a lamp socket. And, uh... I'm going to take one of these light panels apart and see what the voltage reading is. Now I'm looking at this again. Um, so that's... These are all in parallel. So you have 73 volt going to... Or higher because of the voltage drop. To each of those panels. That's a little absurd for this little amount. 73 volts in DC. Holy crap. All right, so, found an alley wrench. Now we fit this. Loosen up all the screws. At least I put this in like a pot metal instead of a plastic housing, so I give them that much credit. Um, yeah, because you need a heat sink for this LED. It's going to be really, really hot. Especially if they're being overdriven. And they probably glued it down. No, they didn't. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. I wonder if they put some type of heat compound. Focus this up one way or the other. Figure out the solution. Looks like they're the gel, and that's what they're doing. They're using some type of gel. There, I got it from that side. No, oh, that's heat. That's heat. Heat sink compound right there. That's what that is. Okay. Um. I don't want to remove this because it'll do any positives. I just wanted to see if there's any markings, which I don't see any on the bottom of here. Interesting. Okay, well, stick it back down. Oh, didn't get the answer I wanted, but we can figure that out and see what the current draw is. So I got this plug back in again. I'm going to 
plug it into this guy. It's called a kilowatt. So it will monitor the amperage and the wattage. As you can see, there's zero amps being drawn. It says amps right there. I'm going to plug this in. And 0.72 amps with five point, uh, with 57 watts. That's just on the AC. Now it says lighting fact, 60 watts per bulb. That's what it's saying. So if that's the case, if it's 60 light, 60 watts per bulb, we're probably drawing more than what we can handle. We can look this up. DP 9503B. That would be the controller chips there. They'd be able to tell you what it's able to handle, what it's not. So the data sheet online says 3 amps. So what we're going to do next. So I'm going to take and measure the output of the current draw and see what the amperage is. I'm going to have that 10 amps here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder my LED lead to one of the uh, meter leads and the other one to the other one. So. Fortunately, I had to unsolder one side and mess up their cool little solder blob here. Um, let's do the black. Okay. I'm going to solder black lead to it and then red lead to the black wires. And then we're going to plug this back in. And then we're going to measure and see what the actual current draw is. Okay, that's that. I guess we don't have that. I may have to add some solder to the meter lead. There we go. Let's add some solder to this meter lead here. Let's see as well. We're going to solder the black wires to this. Got one set. Now to get the other wire on. Okay, so I have both meter leads soldered to it. Now I'm going to take and put this back into the light socket and plug it back in. And then we'll see what the current draw is. And this board here, as you saw, it says 50 watts. So we'll do some calculations and see if it can handle what they're 
putting out those chips are rated for three amps now I don't understand why they have and it's just my own ignorance they have two circuits one for the negative one for the positive for the LEDs I don't understand that so we'll, we'll see what the current draw is and if it's if it's not if it doesn't show up then we'll take a reverse to meter leads um, trying to get this where you can see it there you go Alright, lamp's plugged in, everything else is good, now let's, uh, let's plug it in, let's see what happens, let's see what the current draw is, I'm interested in myself. Point seven one. wow. 700 milliamps. So that's that's not too bad, really. That's not too bad. But is it really? Let's do some calculations. Okay, next I'm going to measure the unloaded voltage. Now that we know it draws 700 milliamps, 710. We'll look at the DC voltages and the output, and we'll actually see what's going on. Now, I have to take in, put this in there too, and measure that. But it's not going to light up. But it should have voltages here. 163 volts. Wow, you might as well just put them across the, the steep end, uh, <laughs> the bridge. 106. Holy smokes. Yeah. You might as well just put them across the steep end bridge. That's insane. Alright. So, with it unloaded, it's at 163 volts. With it loaded, it's, it is at 74 volts. And it's drawing 710 milliamps, which is 52 watts, which is higher than what the board is rated at. And it's well below the 3 amp, the chips that were rated at. So, chips are fine. Um, potentially, this could cause fire. If you leave it on 24-7 and something shorts out, there's no fuse. It's a varistor. I get it, but actually, I'm um, there is a fuse there. This guy right here, the red one, that is a fuse. What? You put a five amp fuse in this? Okay, I can get, I can get that. Yeah. Um, in rush current. But if it only draws less than eight hundred milliamp, the fuse is never gonna blow. So, okay, wow, let's put it back together and I'm going to put it out in the garage and we're going to show what it looks like. Now I put a jumper across the positive and negative on the LEDs and we're going to see hypothetically what would happen 
if they were shorted. There's my jumper. And firing. Three, two, one. Okay. Fuse is still good. So that means that the LED driver chip must have a shutdown. Cause nothing caught on fire. That is after I scraped the solder blob out. And they say this is made out of steel. And it might be. It might be cast steel. Cool. But yeah, solder blob. Mm. I'm not thrilled about it. It's the favorite you get for for twenty bucks. This is uh, a plastic body, not aluminum. Before you ask me if this is rated for outside, I'm gonna tell you absolutely not. So this is my dimly lit garage. Um, can't see nothing. Fluorescent. I got a bunch of TVs and LED stuff over there. And I'm gonna put the new ball in. Perspective from before. I was standing over here. Yeah, it's bright. Now you can see up in the rafters and stuff. Cool. If you want to buy it for 20 bucks, cool. Just be, uh, be wary. So there you have it. That's my review of this. Uh, hope that helps you. Um, decide whether you want to or whether you don't want to buy the product. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.